Welcome back. Um, now, I guess I haven't uh, answered my own questions yet, so I'm going to do so now. Um, why do I like hockey? Well, I was born around the game. My, uh, my dad played when I was a kid. All my uncles played. Uh, my cousins all play as well. So I was kind of born into the game. Uh, my parents actually brought me up uh, and taught me how to skate and walk at the same time. I still even have my very first ever pair of skates or a little pair of Bauer, uh, Bauer Little Beavers that they had to have made for me because they didn't make uh, single blade skates that small back then. So uh, that got me started and I used to go and watch my dad as a kid play um, and then I got started playing. I was a big Bobby Orr fan actually uh, initially. But then once uh, Ken Dryden started playing, I became a huge uh, Dryden fan. And, well, the rest is history with that. Um, now, I've always been a Habs fan, born into it. So kind of, you know, uh, born and bred into the, uh, to the, to the Habs fold. Uh, my entire family are all Habs fans, all my aunts and uncles, uh, brothers, sisters, everyone. Um, and so in regards to the... Do I cheer for the same team as my parents? Obviously, yes, that uh, that is the case. As my kids now cheer for the same team I cheer for, so it's kind of a you know kind of a generational thing, and uh, so it's uh, hopefully going to be what my my kids bring their kids up with as well. Um, my favorite moment playing hockey, uh, I would probably have to say uh, traveling through the states, uh, playing a bunch of American teams while doing so. We got to stop in uh, and see a bunch of uh, NHL games, which was kind of cool. Um, playing minor hockey, uh, silver stick tournaments were always great fun. Um, being a goalie, um, you know, it, you kind of live and die by the sword as it as it be. You know, some nights your team in front of you could be playing great, but if you're not uh, if you're not up to par that night, it can. Uh, can turn the tide, unfortunately. Um, I'd have to say my one of my greatest memories is at the old Montreal Forum when I got to sit and talk with uh, Rocket Richard, Jean Beliveau, uh, Henri Richard. Um, it was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, greatest experience of my life meeting those guys, and they were all really down to earth. I couldn't believe it just talking to them. Uh, it was like talking to, you know, just like being a kid in a candy store some of the information that uh, they had and, and the memories that they had of playing the game. And they, they recalled playing the game just for the love and the fun of playing the game. Because obviously, think about it, they didn't get paid a lot to play the game back then. Uh, they did so more, uh, more out of the love of playing the sport of hockey. And uh, I have to respect that. It's, uh, it's amazing, um, you know, to, to talk to guys like that and, and to hear their stories. Um, now... As for the Olympics, uh, I, I enjoy the Olympics. I love the World Junior Hockey Championships. It's something that we all, as a family, gather around and you know sit in front of the TV uh, during the Christmas break and, and watch it. A big Team Canada fan, big supporter of uh, Canadian hockey. So for that and the Olympics, um, yes, I love it. But on the flip side is that it is not, uh, it's not the NHL. Um, so I, uh, you know, I still love uh, the NHL. NHL playoffs. There's nothing better. Uh, as for uh, the Olympics as well, I'm uh, I'm a big proponent of the old format where it was, you know, amateurs playing when Canada and the U.S. still had a uh, quote-unquote national team that uh, guys went and played for. It wasn't the pros. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind seeing the pros play in the uh, Olympics, but I still prefer the old uh, the old regime where it was. Um, you know, like university players and, and uh, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, the Olympics go back to that aspect. I know a lot of people will disagree with that, but, you know, that's why uh, that's one thing about being a hockey fan. Um, no matter how different your opinions can be on certain things, we're all still fans. Um, and as for my hometown team, being from London, Ontario, um, I go watch the Knights play. I'm not a huge Knights fan. Yes, I know. Bad, bad. Um, but I'm a big Habs fan. Obviously not my hometown team, being that they're seven hours away. But I do try and get to Montreal uh, at least a couple times a year to see the Habs play. Also with my dad, we'll, uh, we'll travel to see them play. We've been to Nashville, been to Montreal, been to Detroit, been to Buffalo. You know, 
as many uh, as many places as we can get to go see them play, we'll try and get to. Uh, maybe not all every year, but uh, we we try to spread it out. Um, what else? Um, I guess just uh, you know, being from a hockey family, you know, born and raised around the game, I've got to meet some amazing people, players and fans alike. Uh, one of my uncles has actually written a book, uh, The History of the Hockey Stick, uh, Brian Logie, and um, he assists with the Hockey Hall of Fame with stuff as well. Uh, he has a huge hockey room, and once he's back from holidays, I'm going to uh, go and sit down with him. He's going to do up a video for us as well. I'm going to get some uh, footage of his hockey room and whatnot, so I will have that posted up as well. Um, so, yeah, from, uh, from my standpoint and my uh, hockey fandom, uh, I've been around the game my whole life, uh, just absolutely love it, and I couldn't imagine not ever playing, unfortunately. Um, this season I didn't get to play much uh, due to an injury, but uh, hopefully I'll be back at it again next year, and uh, I'll uh, keep at it as long as I can. All right, have a great day.